understand. Let's talk about, uh, we remember during the time of Gaddafi, we th this is one thing that people talk about in Africa all the time. We should try to be united. When you see your brothers and sisters suffering and struggling, assist, try to do something. We remember when Gaddafi was killed, all other African countries were watching. The only person who stood up to talk but could not do anything was uh, late Robert Mugabe, who went to the African Union and said, what is happening in uh, Libya? All of Africa will regret hundreds of years later, and today it's happening. Now, migrants are suffering out there. Some of them are living in very deplorable states. Some of them are being kept in uh, camps, in cages in Libya and wherever that they are. And that does not stop them from crossing the sea. And now they are rejected left and right. And so a president like Kagame says, you know what? These are Africans, these are our brothers. Let's help them, and I want to help. He's giving his help, like, I don't want these people to be treated like this, like, give them back to me, rather than keeping them in cages and whatsoever. Should we look at this in a negative light or in a positive light that the other African countries are not saying anything, but he stepped up to do this? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Manuela. I think we, if we, we you know, the, when you want to access something, you have to assess it from the positive and the negative side of it. Mm -hmm. Now, from the positive side, it is a good thing because he has taken uh, a bold step. He has done uh, what he felt is good. And when you look at it from the outside, it is a good thing. Helping should be should always be something we are always we should we are always willing to do. Mm -hmm. So he is willing to help his fellow Africans, which is something that is uh, commendable, something that one could encourage. But also, you have to now assess it from the neg negative side, which is the people you are going into treaty with. To what extent do you trust them? That is the main issue uh, what I have. That is the issue I have with most of these Western countries. Because they feel there is nothing you are going to do, most especially when they are dealing with third world countries. They could decide tomorrow to back out and there's nothing you can do about it. But when you look at it from the positive side, it is a good thing. It is a good decision to help your fellow Africans. And I think other African um, uh, countries should step up. And also, uh, if fellow African countries and leaders step up and decide to uh, follow uh, the footsteps of Rwanda, at least this might uh, take the pressure off Rwanda and also uh, make it easy for these um, asylum seekers, you know, to be resettled uh, and, all, you know, uh, taken care of properly. Because when you look at it, if Rwanda is the only country that is uh, stepping up to do this, then you have to now look at the long-term effect of it. Because yeah. from the records, the, from the records, at least the recent uh, um, records that we have, about 42,000 people uh, migrated to the UK, that is in the last year or so. Now, when you look at it very well, if about 42,000 people will be uh, deported to uh, Rwanda or will be taken to Rwanda every year, you look at the number of, uh, and this is bound to increase. 42,000, let's say, is the average for now. So it yeah. is bound to increase. It's between 42 so and 43, yeah? 42 is not even the exact number, it's between 42 and 43, so. It's, yeah, it's so at number. least, so that means that the, the chances are, it, it, it would increase, that is just the truth, because mm -hmm. these countries where they are coming from, it's not like things are getting better over there, so more people will continue to uh, immigrate from their countries to the UK, and so on, so I think if on uh, from the positive uh, side of it, it is a good thing, it is a good thing that uh, Rwanda is willing to help, uh, that uh, Paul Kagame has taken this uh, step, to uh, save his uh, fellow Africans. But we also have to look at it that these people that, are, uh, that you go into a treaty with, how trustworthy are they? How, how, uh, how reliable are they when it comes to uh, uh, keeping to their words? This is where I have problems when it comes, because when it, when it gets to that level, when it goes out of hand, they could easily extract themselves, easily opt out without anybody, without you being able to hold them accountable. And this is where I have issues. But to look at it from the positive side, it is a good thing. It is a okay. good decision. But the negative aspect is what we don't know. Because when something, when you take a decision, you can only, feel, you can, what is easy for you to see is the positive 
result at the moment. The positive result tends to come faster, but the negative result comes later, which you don't know to what extent. So that okay. is my, this is my thought regarding that. Okay, Thank um, you. let's talk about the core problem now, which is what is causing this immigrants to migrate. Let's talk about the immigrants from Africa. We know there are immigrants from India, Philippines, Lebanese, all those people, but let's talk about what concerns us. What can be done in order for people to stay back in their country? Because people, if your country is okay, if you can have good jobs, go to good school, have opportunities, I don't know why you will be struggling to die in the Mediterranean Sea to cross. So what needs to be done for these African countries or other countries help? Because now it's as if uh, most of the countries are like individuals. Everybody's fighting alone. What can be done for them to come together to assist each other and which will really help people not to be traveling, and then we will not even have to talk about where to keep asylum seekers from Africa. Okay, thank you very much. I think what we need to do as Africans is that we need to change our mindset first and foremost. We tend to lack what we call patriotism. When, as Africans, you believe that everything that comes from the Western world is perfect, is okay. Uh, you, when you go to the go to go to the UK, you're going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. You are not willing to stay and build your own country because you lack you lack belief in yourself, believe in your government, believe in anything. And God, to some extent, has blessed Africa with resources. So I see no reason why Africans will continue to die in the Mediterranean Sea just because they want to work, uh, do some media or menial jobs just to survive. The truth is that we as Africans need to start believing that we have the capacity to do better than what these people are doing. And our leaders also need to sit upright and make and do things and take laws or make laws that would benefit the people and that would make things easier for the people. Yeah. From Like I said, the first thing we need to work on is the mindset as Africans. We believe everything that comes from the Western people is popping. And I know we, we have so many people in, in these Western countries that are complaining of how difficult it is for them over there, how difficult it is for them to survive over there. They're only managing, and due to shame, they can't come back to the country, and, you know, because they've always, always boasted that they're going to make it there over there. But the truth is that we as Africans, we need to step up. We need to make use of, utilize our resources and stop seeing ourselves as a, a lower, lower people to this Western world. We need to start thinking that we also have the capacity to do what they are doing. And we need to stay back. If we are all are immigrating to, the, to, to these European countries or to America and so on, how are we going to build our countries? How are, you going to, how are we going to develop our countries? Because you're going there to help them develop your country. And if, if you go there and they find you useful, they, they keep you. If they find that how do you know you don't have any use, they return you back. So which means they are not actually welcoming. They are only taking advantage of what you can offer, and that is where we need to think. We need to sit upright as Africans. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we